Hey, not sure if you can hear me. The wind is blowing um, quite a quite a breeze today. Uh, but I'll talk a little louder so you can hear me. Uh, just working on a few projects here today. It is, I don't even know what, it, it's June. It's sometime in the middle of June, I think. The 16th, that's what it is, yes. Uh, so last week I was planting soybeans. I uh, had the uh, trailer. since I've used the camera here. Uh, so I had the gooseneck trailer with the soybeans on it taken to the field. And I discovered, as I was checking air pressure in the tires, I've really had an issue with tires lately. Uh, 7140 tractor, uh, rear tire on that going flat, ended up replacing a tube. Uh, the small John Deere tractor tire was flat. Uh, so this one. Uh, was airing the tires up, making sure they had enough pressure, realized this particular tire, not this one because it's a new one, but the one before this was starting to separate um, and, and going bad. I had replaced the other side last year, I guess, on the front axle. Rear axle seems to be the same. Tires are about seven years old and uh, already, you know, pulling apart at the tread. So went ahead and replaced it before I had a flat tire uh, or a blowout. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's that was the other side. That was the blowout where uh, Patron was eating his Whopper. But in checking the trailer, um, I, I knew the last time I had it hooked up, I had an issue with the brakes. Uh, so, as I had this uh, jacked up, wanted to diagnose what my brake issue was. Was it the actual brakes? Is it a wiring issue? Or is it something on the truck? So I think what I have discovered, it is a truck issue because when I connect this trailer to my other truck, the brakes work fine. So I have come to the connection here. And you can see this, this uh, makes it real easy. It tells you what each pin is for. And so this pin right here is for the brake control module. I am not getting any uh, voltage at this particular pin. I've checked the fuses. Let me back into the barn here. Uh, maybe the wind is not as bad. Uh, so here's the other thing I have discovered uh, with these Ram trucks. My daughter, uh, I helped her install one of those cool LED lights that, that go at the bottom of your tailgate. So you hit the brake lights and the, the whole bar lights up. If you put it in reverse, it lights up white, blinker, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I was helping her uh, install that uh, last week or the week before and we got to the final step and there was there was one thing that was not working on the light bar it, we finally figured out it was a fuse we had blown a fuse in the install of this thing well ram and i don't know about ford and and uh chevy but ram has gone to an odd type square small fuse it's not one of those rectangular, it's, it's almost a perfect square. And it's not one that's readily available. We cannot get it through our supplier at the hardware store. Uh, so she had to go on Amazon and, and uh, get fuses. And they're not cheap, even on Amazon. I think it cost her 10 or $15 for five of these fuses. So anyhow, I'm, I'm now looking in my truck, trying to figure out if it's a fuse issue with my brake. Well, with these particular fuses, you cannot tell when they are blown or when they are not. I've tried different fuses. I've checked them. It doesn't seem to be a fuse issue. So I'm thinking it's the actual control module itself. So I'm going to run it up to the uh, uh, Dodge dealership uh, this week and pick their brain a little bit and see if if they have a solution for me. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping it's not that 
that box underneath because I'm sure that's a $100 uh, box to replace that. This has the integrated trailer brake control uh, already built into the truck. The truck came with it. I like that feature. It's really nice. My other truck, same way. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, this is the first issue I've had with it. Uh, so, so I think that's the diagnosis on that. Okay, Joe, we have a problem. Yep, it's just what you think it is, a blown out tire. I needed another 1,400 gallons of liquid in to finish uh, putting on corn, so went up to my fertilizer dealer yesterday to get that. And not only did I have one blown out tire, I had two. The first tire was this one. So I had a spare on the trailer. Got that on, but I had a little issue with that because I had one um, stud here that when Patron and I changed this tire last year when it blew out, uh, when we put that particular um, lug nut back on the stud, I must have cross-threaded it. So that stud spun inside. I never did go back and fix it. So I had to end up taking the whole hub and drum off, going to a local shop, cutting the stud out of there. This is all while I'm on the side of the road. Uh, so get the spare tire on. As soon as I let the jack down, I look back and that tire was low in air. So I had uh, a friend bring a compressor out to me. We pumped that tire up. I assumed it had a slow leak in it, uh, but figured I could get home. It was, uh, I was about 25 minutes from home. Uh, well, nope, didn't make it home. About a half a mile before home, the tire didn't blow. It just went flat completely. So I had to ride it on the rim because I had no other spare. And uh, where it happened, no shoulder on the road. So I just had to bring it home uh, like it was. So I will have to get a new rim, as you can see. And so I'm going to get a uh, spare tire to get on here and get to the field. It was just one of those freaking Mondays. Oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, the blown out tire may be partly my fault. Uh, last week, I was going to use that trailer to uh, move a friend to PA. I was going to load her car onto the trailer and all of her furniture and belongings and go to PA well. So, having that in mind, I checked all the tires last week. I had to put a new one on it on the other side because I noticed the tire was separating. Uh, aired all the tires up to recommended pressure. Checked the brakes and the lights. Breezed the bearings, blah, blah, blah. So it was ready to go. In the end, we ended up not taking that trailer to PA. We, we got everything on two pickup trucks and a uh, car dolly. So yesterday, hooked onto the trailer, put the tank on, uh, went up to, to get that fertilizer. Well, the trailer is rated uh, 16,000 pound gross uh, weight on it. Uh, like any typical farmer, you always, you always, not sometimes, but always put more on it than it was designed for. You have to test its limits. And so I, when I fill that tank with liquid nitrogen, it holds about 1,500 gallons. So that's probably 16,000 pounds right there, plus the weight of the trailer, which is probably 4,000 pounds, I'm guessing. Well, yesterday, I didn't have 15, 1,500 gallons in it because they didn't have that much. All I got was about 1,300 gallons. That's all they had. Uh, but still overweight, probably grossing about uh, 18,000 pounds for a 16,000 pound trailer for tires that are only rated for, I think, uh, oh gosh, I think 
think they're 30, load range, load range E, 3,500 pound tires, so, um, yeah, overweight on the trailer, but I think the other issue was they were doing, um, hey, I see flashing lights up here, must be a cop, yep, a uh, cop is about to pull someone over, oh no, he's after somebody else, he's going further south, uh, where was I? Oh, so it was hot yesterday, so roads were warm. That didn't help matters any, but in one section of the road, they are about to resurface the roads. So that means they are going through and grinding up the old pavement there. So I had about a two mile stretch of road that was quite rough with this ground up pavement. I was only do I was trying to only do about 40 miles an hour through that section of road just to keep the bounce on the trailer to a minimum but I'm guessing that maybe it was a sharp stone or, or something in that road where they were doing construction that caused a slow leak in one of the tires which then put more pressure on the other tire which then caused it to blow out um, that's the only thing I can figure for both tires to, to go bad at the same time. Uh, uh, otherwise, I you know, I was taking my time coming down the road on the smooth road, set the cruise control on 45 because I knew I was somewhat overloaded and was just trying to take it easy. But, hey, that's what we do here sometimes, all the time. We test the limits. There's a reason. There is a... a tag a, a plate on equipment with the maximum gross vehicle weight rating so let me head up here to the local tire shop and uh, see if they've got a couple of tires for me Uh, yeah, just a little problem. Uh, the tread has kind of wrapped around the axle there. So I've got to beat and bang on it a little bit to get it out. Okay, I cannot get that tread off of there, so we're going to try a ratchet strap Hook to the tree. Let's see if that works. Plan B, we're gonna use a truck and then see if we can and then see if we can pull it off the jack. The strap is not working.
slow because I don't want to pull it off the jack. Lock the wheels. Right back up let's try it one more time okay yesterday but only one spare yes yeah, so I had to run this one home flat from st. Jerome's to here I had to get Melissa and Sean to come up and help me I was in Hollywood, so they were the closest ones that I could think of. Jimmy was at, out on the boat. Well, consider it done. Damn it, I don't know. I was wondering why you were parked this way last night. Yeah, I barely got up the hill. You saw the marks. I didn't pay attention, but I see that panel. that brake problem you were having. Well, I haven't figured that one out yet. Yes, I know. That's what caused me so much problem yesterday. Man. Thank you. 
All right, I've got three more tires. So I will have a match set on the trailer. Uh, so I put the one spare tire or the one tire that was blown out on the trailer. I've got three more. They're all going to match and uh, hopefully life will be good. Uh, so these are load range F. They'll give me a little bit more weight. Of course, the rims are not rated for these particular tires. But as I say, we um, test things beyond the maximum every day around here. All right, there's the bad tire and the good tires. Let's see if we can get to Scotland. <laughs> 